The 16th annual Brothel Rib Fest in support of Big Brothers Big Sisters of Leeds Grenville is set to run from August 4th to 7th in Hardy Park. The free, fun-filled family food festival will feature the Howard Travel Rib Eating Contest, the Key Storm Volleyball Tournament, Lift for Kids Sake, a Kids Zone, and more. Musical entertainment will include Absolute Journey Tribute, Loon Choir, Julian Orr, Eve's Daughter, Mark Bergman, the G-Men, and more. Food will include mouth-watering ribs provided by Eight Rivers, Bloomin' Onions, Funnel Cakes, Deep Fried Curd, and more. The 16th Annual Brothel Rib Fest in support of Big Brothers Big Sisters of Leeds Grenville, August 4th to 7th at Hardy Park. For more information, please visit brothelribfest.com. Sponsored in part by Hometown TV 12. The world's largest Viking ship, the Draken Harald Ho Factory, departed Brothel on Monday morning after spending the weekend in the city of the Thousand Islands. The ship left its home port in Norway on April 26, bound for Newfoundland. The aim being to explore and retrace the first transatlantic crossing and the Viking discovery of the New World. The route included stops at the Shetland and Faroe Islands, Iceland and Greenland before landfall on Newfoundland was finally achieved on June 1st. The ship then traveled up the St. Lawrence River, stopping in Montreal, before making its stop in Brockville this past weekend. It is now headed to Toronto for the Red Path Waterfront Festival being held July 1st to 3rd. After that, it will visit various ports in the U.S. along Lake Ontario for the tall ship's Challenge Great Lakes 2016. And then down the New York State Canal System to New York City and then to Mystic Seaport in Connecticut in October. The Draken arrived in Brockville late Thursday night and was on hand on Friday morning for the launch of the Tall Ships Brockville Festival being held in September. And so to our Norwegian friends, we extend a warm welcome to Brockville, where Mr. Paul tells me the days are all sunshine and the nights are all stars. So we hope that you will furl your sail, stay your oars, and linger a while. And I would like now at this moment to raise my hat to your great accomplishment. Well, it's September the 16th to the 18th. We have 10 ships that are becoming uh, this year, same number as the last time in 2013. And uh, we have a Navy warship the HMCS of Montreal, and she'll be arriving on the Monday and staying to Tuesday. So we're going to have shuttle services out with Captain Andy for people who can tour a warship. Now this is of historic proportion. We've never had a, a Canadian frigate, Halifax class, here in Brockville. So it's so large that they have to be out right about, about there. And anybody has a passport, so get your passports early, uh, gives you free shuttle to the, uh, the Navy ship. Uh, any military people and a special outreach to uh, World War II vets, complimentary all the way. And for our war vets, we're going to have a little bit of a commemoration ceremony. We invited the Admiral down. I don't know if he can make it. We've got a new Admiral of the Navy. But that will be a very special and emotional part of our, our festival. But if you like Celtic music, you like the sea shanties, you like the atmosphere of tall ships, we're going to have the usual deck tours, sail outs on the Empire Sandy, dinner charters. Now, the dinner charters for Saturday night are pretty well already sold out. So I encourage people, if they want to do a dinner charter, uh, to get in and uh, get your, your passes earlier. Everything's online, tallshipsbrothel.com. That's tallshipsbrothel.com, and you can get online your particular cruise. And the passports are being sold at the, both Scotia Banks, Home Hardware, and at City Hall. So again, I encourage people to get their passports uh, while well, we've still got lots. But uh, the magic's returned, and uh, it's going to be another wonderful festival. Just remember 2013, and uh, I think that will in itself bring people back. But uh, it's a special weekend, and uh, the color of the falls, the chips, it's going to be quite a, a mosaic. <laughs> a recreation of something that plied the waters back a thousand years ago and came to North America 500 years before uh, Christopher Columbus. So quite a voyage. I know you heard they went Iceland, Greenland, Newfoundland, Quebec City, Montreal, and finally Brockville. But when it came in last night, you know, on the sunset, it, uh, it was very emotional. It was very, very powerful. And they're a really good captain and crew, and uh, they're anxious to have a little relaxation uh, this coming weekend. This is just sort of the first leg, if you like, of, uh, of their, their trip this uh, summer. Draken is the Norwegian word for dragon. Hofarg is the name of the king that unified Norway. Hofarg means fair-haired. 
It's a recreation of a Viking great ship. It's the largest Viking airship built in modern times, according to its press release. 32 men and women crew the Draken. They came from Norway, Sweden, USA, Canada, Estonia, Russia, Spain, France, and the UK. About 4,000 volunteers applied for the voyage. The ship departed Brockville just after 10.30 on Monday morning with a small crowd in attendance. For Hometown TV 12, Dale Elliott in Brockville.